Hello YouTube. I'm here at Nats Park in Navy Yard, Washington DC. And there's a game going on. I wanted to take this opportunity to do a uh, network testing for both AT&T and T-Mobile for my Versus. So we're gonna do some network speed testing to test in real time what these networks are doing. So I'm using my Galaxy Z Fold 3 on the left, which it has a uh, T-Mobile in it, and Galaxy Z Fold 2 that's on the right for AT&T. We're gonna test this out in real time to see how well they hold it up with the game going on. And it's a semi-packed stadium, so as you can see, both networks are being hammered. AT&T and T-Mobile's network is being hammered at the same time. And do a speed test. And T-Mobile does have N41 at this location. I have tested it multiple times and it's getting a slam just like AT&T is right now. So T-Mobile's at 59.5 down, eight megabits up with a 28 millisecond jitter. No, 13 millisecond jitter and a 28 millisecond ping. AT&T is at 20.8 down and nine millisecond up with a 28 millisecond ping and a five, uh, three millisecond jitter. We're gonna do fast. How much data are we getting through these networks currently? at and is about 33 megabits. And T-Mobile, 36. N41 is barely holding on right now, so a lot of people's in this area. And we're going to test Imperv. So right now it is 5G T-Mobile and regular LTE AT&T. Let's see what they're gonna produce. I'm getting 292 down for T-Mobile and 62 up. AT&T was 15 down and I think it was like 20 up from the looks of it. I have to go back and look at the video. They're coming along pretty good with all the data being used in this area currently. Let's see. Is browsing the net right now and they're both moved on to video streaming. 360 first for both of them. Seven twenty. Well, AT&T is look like it's going to be on top with their network performance with this crowded field right now. T-Mobile on the left managed to be above 200 megabits per second, but browsing and streaming is really tough for them. AT&T on the right with 15 megabits per second and 11 down 
15, about 15 down, 11 up, doing way better networking than T-Mobile is currently right now on their network. So the last thing to do is the download test. PUBG. And let's see what the network performance is gonna look like. Three, two, one, go. Alrighty. AT&T and T-Mobile are both at about 2%. Downloading a 741 megabit file from Google, Google Play Store. As you can see, they're roughly neck and neck. The network is being hammered at the same time. So right now, N41 has no advantage over AT&T currently. They're running at roughly about the same speed. Here we go. They're starting to pull away right now. So 24 to 15. Forty-two to sixteen. Forty-eight to twenty. Almost twenty. That N forty one is starting to kick in. Seventy-eight to twenty-two. And 90% to 23%, and T-Mobile finished. Well, that does let you know that both these networks are struggling here, but that N41 for 5G is picking up some of that slack. I do wanna do this next test, let's cancel that. install and test it for just LTE only so the testing should favor AT&T speed test speed test LTE only. T-Mobile is surprisingly better. I guess getting a lot of that network traffic off of LTE is helping them out a whole lot more. As you can see, 40 down, seven up. AT&T is about 2.37 down and almost seven up. And let's see what speedtest.com will produce. All right, gotta close it out. Bring it back. Alrighty, so T-Mobile and AT&T are roughly performing about the same on the speedtest.com. 35 to 31 and roughly about five up. Eight up for T-Mobile and about seven up for AT&T. The network is being slammed. I wish I had time to do Verizon over here. 
But as you can see, everybody is using their phones. Thank y'all for watching. If you if this helped you out, hit like, leave a comment below, and I'll see you next time.